in a world constantly in motion. Information is the silent conductor orchestrating every aspect of our lives. From the classroom to the operating room, information shapes our decisions, guides our actions, and fuels our progress. But it's not just in the hustle and bustle of urban life where information holds sway. Even in moments of quiet reflection, knowledge is a beacon illuminating our path forward. By having this knowledge, lives can be saved. In a world where the only constant is change, the one thing we can always rely on is the power of information. So let's embrace it, nurture it, and use it to shape a brighter tomorrow. Because in the end, the more we know, the further we can go. So Mint is a proudly South African company founded in 2000 uh, by a couple of uh, youngsters uh, with the mission to use technology for the betterment of our continent and our country. It's been a fantastic journey over the last 24 years uh, and counting. Our focus is all around technology and enablement of organizations. Uh, we started our foundation in the financial services area and uh, doing a lot of work for banks and insurance companies uh, across the continent and then moved into public sector. Uh, healthcare and education is a core focus for us. So Min's philosophy on partnerships is around transparency, it's about clarity, it's about sharing and it's about growth. It's about empowerment and I think over the years one thing we've realized is we can do so much more for our clients and for our partners, for employees in a whole through partnerships. It's rare in your career that you get the opportunity to work on something so substantial that can make such a difference for the patients and the doctors of our country. So our partnership with the Gating Department of Health and Paragona Hospital is a really exciting one. Taking the third largest hospital in the world and moving them into the digital era from a client-patient record perspective. This project that we have just started of digitizing our patients' records, it's one of the things that I've been looking for and it has improved already in terms of our patients' records because, remember, we had a lot of litigations at PARA. A lot of money have been, we've been paying because of our cases that we've been receiving because our files were getting lost. But now it's going to improve because already everything is in the system. We will know now who has been in our institution. The process of digitization here, it's smart digitization. So anybody can take a piece of paper and scan it, and then it's digital. The problem is, it's like a photo that you can't interpret. So the, 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 the piece where we're doing intelligent document processing is fundamentally leveraging AI as part of this process to map this field as a date, this field is where the, the client or the patient name is, this one is the, the doctor that served them, this, is the, this, this area is for the medication. So by understanding the different formats of the forms that we're digitizing and by training on them, and this is what the youth is going to help us with, as well as our team, is obviously going, this is this field, that's what this is. And then we build up a database. And what this then does is a combination of people and technology and AI working in tandem to, by the end of this process, have a really accurate patient file that you can interrogate it. So you can go into a system and say, so I would like to see all of patient X history and it will go through all the files and will physically reference the, the physical document to be digitized with its name and where it's now currently stored physically but also it will have all that information abstracted into a database and it will give us this is the medication this was the doctor this is what happened this is the history. We are in a time where data is actually very loosely available but um, now because of the poppy acts that we have we, are, we know that the information will be in a secure platform and not everyone will be able to get all the access for example our principals will be able to see what is happening with the patients, but um, a mere clinician from another institution might not get all the full information. And of course, that speaks to data security and the privacy of the patients. And I think the ultimate outcome is to make sure that those patients are healthy. So as we kick off 
in 2024 with the pilot for Baraguanas. We're looking at it being between a nine to 12 month project. And as we're digitizing about 10 years of archives, we are looking at doing over 800,000 patient files. And in one patient file, you can have 10 pages, you can have 100 pages. So that is why the timeline that we're looking at doing this with over 100 youth is around 12 months. The integration of uh, paper-based uh, files into the secure digital format uh, is a major step forward uh, for the Gauteng healthcare system. This initiative will empower both uh, citizens and uh, healthcare facilities. The Mint has a program that we run called the Ubuntu Empowerment Program. And this program is about empowering smaller partners that want to come into the Microsoft uh, environment and industry and during this e-digitization project, we've actually onboarded one of the Ubuntu Empowerment Program partners to actually come through and drive the youth empowerment piece, as well as the digitization on the ground with youth. So we've actively got them involved and we're growing their business so they also get exposure and uh, we're hoping to use them for the entire 37 hospitals um, and not just the pilot of Baraguana Hospital. It warms my heart the day that I met with the colleagues that are service providers that are doing this project when they told me that they are going to bring young people to be part of this project. Because for me, I knew from the beginning that they are going to make a huge difference to the children that are out there in the communities. With this project, I am one of the team leaders and uh, I have a team of 10 people and I ensure that they are doing quality scanning and they also thoroughly clean their files. So we're doing a whole batch of files. Per person is given a box or two a day. So we need to make sure that the quantity is good and also as well as the quality is good. For me to be working here, it means a lot because there are a lot of people outside there which are looking for an employment and they are sitting crying each and every day. But to me, it's a something which is a, actually is a grace to be up on this place because right now I know that I'm having something to feed myself through whatsoever that I'm getting through this project. We all understand that we have a massive problem with jobs in South Africa, you know, the 40% plus for youths. So as part of this program, working with the MEC, we made sure that we employ local youths to the area, um, training them around how this process works, how to work with the systems, how to get the filing rights, how to scan, how to do intelligent processing, how to check. So I think for them being part of this initiative to drive better healthcare in the country is also usually rewarding. And of course the idea here is to, to take the skill sets and start working on, on some of the other hospitals to create sustainable jobs. And then ultimately, once we've done the backlog, you know, you can't go back to a system where we just create files for the next five years. So just a continuation of these jobs to make sure that as the new files comes in, that they digitize on a daily basis until such time as we get to the further phases of the project where everything is digitized from the beginning. This collaborative effort is going to actually show that um, there is work that can be done between three different groups. Working with Department of Health has been great. I think their thought mindset on change is it's there. And they're spending a lot of time in finding what's best for the citizens and the people. So I'm really excited that Mint and Microsoft can be part of this project as we work with them through their roadmap on digitization for Kauteng. Let's continue with this collaboration, this partnership. Let's change the lives out there. We must show them out there that working together, it's possible. We can create a difference. We can improve our institutions, but we can create opportunities for those that are in need. The key thing here is we believe in uh, whatever you're not changing, you're choosing, and we choose to find solutions for the things that's been thrown. We've had a great partner in both the, the leadership of Baraguana Hospital and the Department of, of Health of Gauteng. For now, the focus is on the foundation, doing that really well, and then making sure we can scale that for, for Baraguana and the rest of the hospitals. They place people at the center of everything they do. They are passionate, driven, and engaged. They simplify complexity to drive quality. And they do what they say 
and say what they do.